What's up, YouTube? It's the most definitely your boy Corey. You feel me? And I'm back again with another video. Hey, let me tell y'all something. What's on my mind right now, man? Uh, I want for y'all to know that the Bible says, "Do not spare the rod," because it saves them from the. Because for one, it will not kill them, and it saves them from the pits of hell. You feel me? And I believe in that. I believe in that because when I was a child, I did I did a lot of crazy things. You feel me? It's a lot of situations in my life that I feel like, you know, if I didn't pay the consequences, that I wouldn't have changed. Like when I was younger, I went in the store, I seen, I seen this Willy Wonka candy bar. You know, it was on commercial, and I really wanted that. So I went to the store, I took it. I got on the bus with it. I opened it up, started eating it. My daddy came to the back of the bus. He said, oh yeah. So, man, and I'm gonna let you know that that whooping was not nice. He took, pulled my pants down, took me in my grandma's bathroom, and whipped me with a leather belt. Quite sure I heard it. You feel me? <laughs> I'm quite sure I heard it bad. <laughs> I used to whip bad, and you feel me? He ain't play. And he always, you feel me, made me pay the consequences for my bad decisions. But I feel like without that, I would have stole it again. Imagine if he, imagine if I didn't get no consequences behind that. Imagine, imagine if he just yelled at me or something. What I would have had fear, Emmy, you know, and. And you know, um, I feel like without that fear in me, I would have just, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought about no consequences if I was to go in the store and stole. I feel like I would be still stealing to this day, but that's not what happened, you know. So the Bible says, "Fear the Lord, for for fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom." So I feel like. God tell for you to fear him for a reason because just as a parent do, they whip you and you maybe feel like it's wrong or whatever the case is, but a parent whip you is not wrong because it's not gonna kill you kill you. Just like when God, you feel me, if he punish you for you being disobedient to him because you're not listening. And at the end of the day you're gonna end up paying the consequences anyways. Because if I would have went in the store and I would have got caught, then I would have got in mad trouble, you feel me? One time I was in the store with my mom, this is back when I lived in Indiana. I was real little. There was this cap gun. I always wanted a cap gun. Everybody, you feel me, in the neighborhood. I ain't gonna say everybody, but some people in the neighborhood, you feel me, they had some cap guns. And I wasn't allowed to play with guns when I was younger. That's just how I grew up. That's how I was raised, which is why I never ever played with guns, you feel me. But, um, anyways, besides that, yeah, so, um, it was a cap gun. It's at the store. I, uh, Stuffed up mug in my shirt. Security came up on me like, yeah, I seen your shirt. <laughs> yeah, we, I had so much fear in my heart, man, because I had actually got caught, you feel me? There wasn't nothing I could do, you feel me? I had to check my shirt out because he was right there, so I just check it out. I think like one nothing in there. I, I think that, I, you feel me? Of course, he probably he probably seen me take it out my shirt, but I tried to be slick, and I felt like he ain't seen me take it out my shirt. I was like still on my knees on the floor. Cause I was on the, on my knees on the floor where the cap guns was at when I stuffed it in my shirt. You feel me? So I could try to be slick in the first place. And I felt like I took it out slick. So, well, if he's seen it or not, but at the end of the day, it's about the consequences. When my daddy with me a minute ago, you know, when I stole that Willy Wonka stuff, he was just trying to warn me. Son, you know, don't do this because it is consequences. You could get caught by the security guard and you could go to jail. You feel me? Start off little, I'm stealing candy, cap guns, this and that. But then you get older and you start stealing what? You feel me? You go in the store, you steal, you steal more merchandise, you feel me? And it, it grows in you if you don't pay the consequences. A lot of stuff. Like one time I cussed at the bus driver. I was in high school. Because he kept talking to me, you feel me? I felt like I had justice. Uh, I was brushing my teeth on the bus because, you feel me? I was running late, but I can't go to school with my grass thinking. But I had, you feel me, I had some paper or something I was going to spit it in. 
He kept talking to me, don't spit it on the bus, don't spit it on the bus. But I don't never know trifling the kid like some of the other kids was, you know, that was on the bus. So it's some bad kids who really disrespect the bus driver and stuff. I was never one of those. But that day I turned into one of those, you feel me? Not even intentionally. You know, I have to, you know, I have to tell him, like, stop talking to me. You know, I probably said the F word or something like that, you know. Or I probably told him to shut up, you know. I probably, you know, I got a little disrespectful. I ain't go all in, but, you know, I, I at least said one or two cussing words at him, man. He ain't like that. I got suspended off the bus, you feel me, for a little bit. I got in trouble. When I got home, I also got in trouble. And I never cussed at the bus driver ever again. You feel me? So you got to pay consequences for your actions. So parents don't be scared to whip your kids, man, because the Bible says that it's for one, train your child in a way to go so when they get older, they do not depart from their ways, you know? Because it's people, they be scared to tell their kids about the Bible, like, oh, I'm going to let them find their own way. No, don't let them find their own way. Because what the devil find a way, and he tell them this and that, you feel me? And then, then how you going to, um, you know, the world ain't going to be afraid to say their opinion about stuff, you know? So, but I guess that'd be for different people who probably don't have the true faith. Because you got the true faith, you're going to teach your kids that anyways, because you know that's the right way to go. You ain't going to question it, honestly, once you you know, get really deep in God and get the Holy Spirit, which testifies of a spiritual world and the Spirit of God, you know, you change your perspective on, you know, what's religion, what I want to say, like, what's religion, you know, what's real, what's false, versus what other religions is, you know, it lets you know that that's the one and true religion, because everything that Jesus said was real, you feel me, once you get the Holy Spirit, you, you know that everything he said was real, and you can see that spiritual world, and you can start to fight that spiritual battle, and stuff like that. But getting back on topic, because that was all topic, you know. Man, parents, train your child in a way to go and whip them kids, because they ain't going to learn. You feel me? Just like the Bible says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You feel me? Parents, you put that fear in them when you teach your kid. Don't go in that store and steal that stuff. I'm going to beat the brakes off you. You feel me? I don't know abuse stuff, but you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to go all in crazy. But you most definitely got to get them a little spanking. You can't just be sparing your kids. And not whooping on no little kids now, man. For real. disobedient. That's the same way how they gonna be in the world. They're gonna be the same way with the police, same way with God. You feel me? They ain't gonna have no fear in their heart. So you gotta start off with that. You feel me? That's training your kid in the way to go. You know, I, yeah, you know, you could try to make common sense out of it in the perspective that you wanna try to make common sense out of the scripture and, you know, how do um, whooping your child will say it in front of pits of hell or train them in a way to go so they can remember when they get older. You can try to make common sense out of that. I just take God's wisdom and I use it. Of course, I come up with my own common sense out of it. You feel me? I don't I don't necessarily have to share that opinion with y'all unless y'all directly ask me of that. But you feel me? It's common sense to me. You feel me? Or, you know, if not common sense, it's like different ideas that you come up with, but at the end of the day, God's word stands. Well, if you feel like it makes sense or not, because at the end of the day, truth is truth. If you say three plus three, you feel me? If you don't know the answer to it and you say it equals two, that's to you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so three plus three don't equal two. Same thing with the word of God. Jesus say something, you can feel like it ain't right, but then they, the equation always gonna equal out to what the truth is. It's gonna equal well, you know? So that's why I gotta say to y'all today, man. 
Stay with God. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, man. I love y'all, man. Get me to the road to 100 subscribers. Hey, deuces.